Ashika Island is here and it's going to change Warzone 2 forever. And I'm telling you right now, there's going to be multiple metas you can run with and the ARs are going to start dominating in this mode. And the first we're going to talk about is the M13. It has an insane fire rate, good TTK. And I'm telling you right now, it is a laser beam. So make sure you stick around so you can give you the best weapon tuning and the best attachments. Let's go. One down on me. All right, guys, before we break down the attachments, remember, these videos are straight to the point. I don't want to waste any time, so we're going to break down the attachments and the weapon tuning. But please do me a huge favor. Drop a like and subscribe and hit that bell. You're part of the Naughty Gang of the Royal Family. You guys can catch all the new videos that we drop every single day. All right, so the first attachment we're going to put on is the Harbinger D20 for the sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, recoil smoothness. The tuning, I'm going to go ahead and buff up the recoil smoothness all the way up. It's not going to hurt my recoil or accuracy, and it's not going to hurt anything with my, mo my mobility at, at all. Next, that, I'm going to go ahead and increase my bullet velocity. Now, once it stops hurting my accuracy, I'm going to go ahead and stop from right there, about 0.65, okay? So it's going to hit my accuracy just a little bit, but it's going to increase my range, and that's what I want uh, on this M13 build. After that, for the barrel, I'm going to use a 14-inch Bruin Eklon barrel for the damage range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy. Of course, that's not a big deal and the recoil control the tuning i'm going to go ahead and go and bump up my re my recoil steadiness all the way up okay go ahead and max it out to 0 0.50 and then again i'm gonna go ahead and increase my my damage range and it's gonna go all the way out and it's not even gonna hurt my accuracy my recoil and that's the best part about the barrel it does not hurt any of those and i'm gonna go ahead and max it out the next one for the under barrel will be the agent grip now the agent grip is gonna give me the aiming out of stability the cons is just walking speed it doesn't hurt my recoil or it doesn't hurt my ADS speed. And that's what I love about this grip. I'm going to go ahead and max out the recoil stabilization and go ahead and max out the aiming idle stability. Uh, it's going to help with the accuracy and the recoil that I need on this gun. Like I said before, this gun does not really move at all. Got the 60 round mag. And of course, you're going to use that aim uh, OP sight or any sight that you like. I like the aim OP. Uh, it, just, it just feels like it has no visual recoil at all. And I'm going to go ahead and bump up the far and leave this neutral for the flinch resistance and the aim down side speed. So there you go, Royal Family. That is my M13 build. Test it out in the Sheikah Island. I'm telling you right now, you will dominate. So again, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and hit that belly part of the Naughty Gang of the Royal Family. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.